Hi, I'm Michael Cohn from Advanced Tubular Technologies. I'm the developer of VTube Laser Software that connects to the ferro arm in order to measure tubes. We qualify tube shapes. We can use this software to set up and correct tube bending machines through a direct connection. What I'd like to do today in this video is show you how we perform the initial training exercise using our 15-page training document. This training document is available online at our website. You can download it and print it out and use it also for demonstrations. So let's get started. When you load VTube Laser, you're going to see VTube Step in the upper left corner. That's because VTube loads in the Step mode, which is the mode you can import Step and IGES files. Double click on the VTube Path in the Path Manager after you push Import Step. Now what we're going to do on page two is we're going to perform a process called collection. You can think of collection as measuring with the mouse. You check on both check boxes like I've done here and then you push the button below the number and you start with one and move to two, etc. Then when you're finished, then you're going to want to right click with the mouse in the viewport in order to change out of the select mode for selecting the cylinder straights. Now while the viewport's in select mode, you can right click and get a pop-up menu like this. When you do, then you can click on rebuild tube centerline and it's going to build the centerline data like this on the left. Now you can also see that it's got the part number filled in, the diameter, and it's also got the wall thickness in this case because I selected some of the inner wall in my collection. Now let's move over to laser mode. Laser mode is the mode that you use to connect to the arm. So let's start by connecting to the arm by clicking on the black LED next to the door in the upper right corner. You're going to see the DRO show up like this. You can move it or you can turn it on or off with the X or with the DRO button. Click on the ellipsis button just to the left of the DRO button and take a look at the settings here and make sure they match what you see in the document. Now since we're going to measure this part on the table, we're going to have to create a cut plane in order to filter out all of the scan points from the table. So we go into measure process, we click on measure cut plane, and we take three points with the green button. One, two, three, and then we pull above the table and with the green button again, we hit a fourth point. Now put the arm up, turn your numeric keypad on, type in point 125 and press the enter key on the keyboard. Now I like to turn the cut plane off like this and then I just refresh the graphics. Next in the document, I have you take a look at the settings and measures setup. Look at rows three and four especially. Make sure that they're set to 150. And then go to the separation filter and look to see that row one says distance and that your row three says 125 thousandths. This will enforce a separation between the laser lines by 125 thousandths. Now in Uniscan, click on set to master count and then click on the button that says measure the tube now. And then we're going to follow the instructions in the yellow guide box over in Uniscan, a cylindrical tube. Now just touch the end wall with the laser and push the green button and it's going to take the data in really quickly. For each straight, you'll probably be collecting anywhere from 7 to maybe 20 stripes per straight. You can read that information up in the DRO at any time. Because it's less than the 100 maximum that we have set up and measure set up, you'll have to hit the red button to tell VTube Laser that you've got enough stripes. Go ahead and calculate the center line of the cylinders. Be sure when you measure these cylinders to stay out of the arcs because that would skew the center line. Just below the yellow box, you'll want to press Finish and Apply Measure. And then I recommend that you use the best fit in the second button from the top. And you're going to see that the tube is going to be aligning. Now that's the measured tube. It's going to be aligning. The measured aligned tube is going to be the pink tube on the screen when this is finished. And the white tube will be the master or nominal tube. The transparent cylinders on the tube represent the tolerance. Now on the left, you see colors show red or green, green being intolerance, red out of tolerance. Now in the inspection results grid, you're going to see the length deviations on the top and you're going to see the tangent point midpoint deviations in the bottom. Those values in the bottom represent a qualification of the shape of the tube. I always like to show the bender setup menu because the bender setup menu is where we perform communications with the bender if you have a connection to the bender. 
Just follow the instructions in the document in order to walk through a simulation of bringing data into this window and then setting up the vendor with the set up the vendor buttons and then showing how to do a bi-directional communication with the vendor. Keep in mind that when you do a recall that normally what happens is data will come in from the vendor and it will populate the blue columns. But in this case you don't have a connection to the vendor so you're going to have to hit recall and then cancel like this. When you send data out next to the number two button like this you're sending the orange corrected data out to the vendor. This is how we adjust the vendor setup. You can also go into reports and print out a vendor corrections only report here. Double click on vendor corrections only. I'm refreshing the image and just print and use these values to adjust the vendor. So that's how easy it is for us to follow the 15 page document in order to train our customers and or provide demonstrations. If you have any questions about any part of this video or any other topic concerning VTube Laser, please feel free to email me at michael.cone at advancedtubular.com at any time. I'll be glad to answer you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day.